From this day forward, I promise to be part of the solution in ending violence against women. That is the pledge that is asked of men and boys to make by the Massachusetts White Ribbon Day campaign in their efforts to change societal attitudes that perpetuate violence against women. The National White Ribbon Day campaign offers a unique vehicle for men and boys to take a public stand against domestic violence, and here in Massachusetts, the Jane Doe Incorporated Coalition has made it a primary prevention strategy to help end male violence against women. On Friday, February 27th, Boston will host a White Ribbon Night Gala at the Phillips Banquet Hall, where they will also spotlight a local domestic violence shelter doing great work in the community. And to tell us more about all of this, we've invited Craig Norberg Bohm. He's coordinator of the Massachusetts White Ribbon Day campaign. We also have Anthony DiPietro, executive director of Hawk. That's Healing Abuse Working for Change. The organization highlighted that evening and also with us Laverne Gordon who has been with us before and she is the event organizer for the gala. Welcome to Urban Update. Thanks for coming in. It's a delight. Really. All right Craig let me start by you by sure. just starting telling our viewers uh, a little bit more about the Massachusetts uh, White Day Camp White Ribbon Day campaign. How would you describe it? Oh sure we're going to our eighth year and it's sponsored by the State Coalition Against Sexual and Domestic Violence. So that's the starting place. It's all these agencies across the state who are trying to figure a way to not be in business, that we want to end sexual violence and end domestic violence. And one way to do that, one portion of that, is a, is a positive conversation and an outreach and a, a, actually a request by, to men, men all over the state. Men are part of the solution, and this campaign is an invitation for men to be stepping up and stepping in. Okay, now Laverne, uh, one of the local angles is the gala on um, the 27th of February. I guess you're one of the organizers of the gala. I guess what can people expect uh, at this event? Well, again, as, as Craig mentioned, it's the, uh, the White Ribbon campaign is about men stepping up, and so the event that night asks just that, for men to step up and be part of the solution, and we have men speaking to men in the room. Um, and, you know, a lineup of men uh, talking about the ways that they've been part of the solution to date, and ways that men in the room can do just the same. Mm -hmm. Step up and be a vocal, vocal aspect in, in, in this campaign, and, and, and be try to end violence against women. That's right. Now, uh, Anthony DiPietro, your organization, Hawk, uh, is being highlighted at the gala. Uh, tell me about how your agency is, you know, the, how it's distinguished from other domestic violence sure, agencies. Sure. Well, we're really proud to be featured at the event this year. Um, I'm really proud to lead such a great agency up in um, Salem, where actually we cover the whole North Shore from Lynn to Gloucester. Um, we're the oldest, most comprehensive domestic violence agency in the North Shore. We've been there for about 36 years. And I think what makes us really unique is that we put social justice first right in our mission statement. So a lot of domestic violence agencies, we see ourselves as part of a mission, uh, part of a uh, social justice movement. Um, but we put it right in our mission statement. Um, and then um, within the large social justice umbrella, we see our specialty as providing services and support to survivors of domestic violence. Okay. Now, before we go any further, I just want to play a little clip uh, from, I'm sure you've uh, caught the president's uh, sure. yes. message on domestic violence at the, on the Grammys last Sunday. So let's just play a little short little clip, and we can sort of talk about it on the, on the other side about really um, about how he's bringing attention to this uh, important issue. Awesome. Good evening, everybody. Tonight, we celebrate artists whose music and message help shape our culture. And together, we can change our culture for the better by ending violence against women and girls. Right now, nearly one in five women in America has been a victim of rape or attempted rape. And more than one in four women has experienced some form of domestic violence. It's not OK, and it has to stop. Artists what are your what are your thoughts about the president uh, taking this you know big TV time to to really uh, elevate this message? Um, Laverne, what do you think? What a great unexpected um, portion of that night that brought everybody to a standstill. Yeah, it was about artists and music, but the bigger picture is is that women in your midst, uh, you know, the one in every four women uh, are being abused and will be abused in their lifetime. Mm -hmm. And the person sitting next to you, you may not even know that mm -hmm. she's getting abused by her partner, her spouse. And so for him to sit there as a man <laughs> right yeah. and just it just tie everything together yeah, yeah. and 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 put it on the forefront I was moved I yeah. put it on our, on our Facebook and I said how moved we were and 
brought to tears. Now, uh, I guess, Anthony, I guess, talk to me about how, I guess, how, do you, how do you actually go about bringing awareness uh, among men on the issue of domestic violence against sure. women? Sure. Well, I love the president's call to action at the end of that message. And um, that's, you know, that's what we try to do in a variety of ways. We don't have a, a single white ribbon campaign event um, in the course of the year, and we don't you know, consider it important just for that one day. We try to do it throughout the year through various partnerships. So, so for example, we partner with the Salem No Place for Hate Committee. Um, we distribute a thousand white ribbons to people in the community uh, where we live and work. Um, we also have a partnership with uh, St. John's Prep, which is one of the larger uh, all-boys schools in our in our service area. Mm -hmm. um, so we were recently at their uh, Health and Wellness Day presenting mm -hmm. about our services and our organization. Um, so we try to get the word out that way. Now, uh, Craig, uh, the sure. White Ribbon Day campaign theme this year is Reimagine Manhood. Talk to me about um, about your theme. Sure. Well, the primary person, the man who wants to help, needs something to think about. You know, what are we going to do about this problem? And it's about representing a version of manhood that really would never imagine hurt. It would imagine aggression in that way. And so I think a lot of men are already there, but we need them to step up. Right. And so we want to share this conversation about reimagining manhood. How are you a dad? How are you a coach or a leader? Yes. How are you a civic cultural leader in your communities and, and representing this? Reimagine the strength that that represents. That's reimagining manhood. Yes. What about that, uh, that little saying, that promise I read at yeah. the beginning? Uh, yeah. it's, it's an actual pledge that uh, you yes. want men and boys to take, isn't that? That's right. That's right. We have an event that we use every year, the first Thursday in March at the State House, and we have cities and communities doing this all over the state before and after that date, as uh, Anthony mentioned, that they do something in Salem at other points in the year. And this is a, a simple sentence that says, from this day forward, I promise to be part of the solution in ending violence against women. And so it's a creative enterprise. How do you be part of the solution once you promise to be? And that's where this reimagined manhood and the idea of how, what's the role in my life where I can make a difference. Now, uh, uh, Laverne, one more uh, final word on, um, I want to remind viewers uh, about uh, the gala, the third annual White Ribbon Gala. Fourth. Uh, Friday fourth. night. Fourth annual, yeah. okay, yeah. fourth annual. Uh, what else would you like to say about it? Absolutely, that women are invited women do attend i've had this question posed to me more than a few times within the last week and people think especially with our uh gala invite uh there's two men on the front of it but yeah. women are absolutely asked to come out with your partners your spouse your friend okay. bring a man with you and let okay. him hear the message that night it's great fun everyone should come it is great fun february 27th and there's the information right there on the screen uh Lorraine gordon craig norberg bohm and anthony petro thanks for coming in hope you have a successful gala and uh, keep working on this very important issue. Thank you, more than Thank, you. Thank you. Okay, well, that's it for this edition of Urban Update. But before we go, a quick happy Valentine's Day weekend to all of you from all of us here at Urban Update. I'm Byron Barnett. Have a great Sunday, everyone.